Bruder breaking on top. Confidence is second. Spring Arts third. On the outside, the Gamblers on fourth. And Bill Mark into the clubhouse turn. Gray Bruder with the lead. By the half length. On the outside, Confidence is second by three lengths. Then Bell Mark is third by two and a half lengths. Moving into fourth place is Spring Lark. Followed by Gamblers on. Nice stick on the outside. And a blue shoot. Racing down the back stretch. It's Gray Bruder with the lead by a half length. Confidence is second by four lengths. Then comes a nice stick third by a length and a half. Followed by Spring Lark fourth by two and a half lengths. Bell Dark is fifth. And a blue shoot. Turning into the stretch. Gray Bruder in front by three quarters of a length. Confidence second by two lengths. And the outside gamblers on is third by that. It's Gray Bruder in nice stick and a driving pity. Gray Bruder in front. Well, phase one's a total success. I owe him $10,000. Hey, now, don't panic. I may have to drop another five grand. Yeah, I know that's more money than I make in a year, but I'm not paying for it. Neither you, so relax, will you? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. So far, my luck's been pretty good. Although I did have one winning streak that really had me worried. <laughs> but look, this hasn't been a milk run, you know? You think it's easy to drop 10 grand? Yeah, no, no, I, I haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, yeah, I will as soon as I... Yes, yes, I... Look, uh, this call is costing me a fortune. Next time I'll call collect. Adios. The uh, phone's free. The first of the month again, Lucky. You got the money? Well, I had it, you see. Uh, Coming into the stretch, a couple of C notes on Blue Shoe's nose. Uh, all he needed was a longer nose. Look, fellas, I can let you have a couple of hundred by the saddle. No, Lucky. Solly expects a thousand, at least. Come on. Let's talk about it. You guys, look, I got a couple of hot deals cooking. They'll pop any day now. That's what you told us last month, Lucky. Can't oh, I saw you rough me up. It doesn't get Solly's bill. Hey, does it? No. But it's cheaper than nailing out overdue notices. <sighs> wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you hear that? Uh -huh. That! <laughs> you want us to lose our jobs? You can always go out on strike. I'm afraid Solly doesn't like collective bargaining. An old, uh, old army buddy of mine, he told me about this uh, poker game. Nothing but high rollers, you know? Texas oil and cattlemen. Sure thing if I can get to Dallas in time. And that's one thing you never run short of, Lucky. Double talk. Well, this is straight, I tell you. I'm going to pay Solly back the whole 10 grand. Over $13,000, Lucky. You forgot the interest. Thank you, Lord, for this, our daily bread, the fruits of the earth, and the meat and the potatoes and the kibble with which you have blessed us. We are thankful to you for our good health, for the roof over our heads, and for having taught us to love all of your creatures on this earth. For these and thy gifts, we are truly grateful. And every day, we will try not only to be good, but good for something. Amen. Where you gonna dump the body? We wouldn't kid you, <laughs> Lucky. Dead men don't pay their debts. Yeah, but half dead, you might. Oh! <laughs> Family, did you hear something? Hey, are you okay, Lucky? Oh. Are you all right? <laughs> Yeah, I, I think so. Nice. Very nice. 
Is on. No, no, no. Next month, if his luck hasn't improved. Yeah, maybe just a little bit. it fast. I didn't. They come looking for me every couple of weeks. I borrowed some money from a guy named Solly Kramer who doesn't believe in extended credit. Solly Kramer? From Rockville? You know him? Sure. We used to attend church together every Sunday morning. What? In the state's prison chapel. I was doing five years for having separated the gentleman from his money. Oh. <laughs> five years? It's a pretty heavy stretch for counting just one man. I didn't know he was the governor. Besides, he wasn't the first, just the last. So Kramer was there when you were? Before, during, and after. Strictly a small-time hustler. Petty theft, safe-cracking, heisting, anything. But he could play rough. Well, he still does. Now he's in a higher tax bracket since he graduated to the rackets. How'd you ever get mixed up with him? Oh, cards, horses, craps, ball games. Gambler, huh? Yeah, you name it. Five bucks it rains by eight tonight. <laughs> uh, may I? Sure. Uh, I only bet on sure things, and my wages are very small. Yeah, uh, you're a smart man, Daniel. No, just wise. There's a difference, you know. Five years. Oh, it's time off for good behavior. <sighs> well, I'm gonna split before they show up again. No problem if they do. I've got five friends standing guard out there. You mean the dogs? They're mighty comforting. <laughs> Listen, uh, tell me, what are you doing with five Dobermans anyway? I mean, I can understand two, maybe three, but uh, I trained them myself. They're guard dogs. We move around from here to there, special jobs like guarding payrolls, exhibits, that sort of thing. All alone? I mean, how, how do you control five dogs at once? Come here. What's up? Now look, I'm going to call Micah and Sheba up for dinner.
When they're through, they'll go back on duty, and the others will come and eat. Oh, you're kidding. I mean, that thing doesn't even make a sound. Oh, well, sure it does. It's uh, just pitched too high for human ears. The dogs hear them fine, though. I used to use those whistles, but this is much better. It was dreamed up for me by an electronic sprint. They tell me that they answer that gadget every time? Oh, never miss. Do lots of other things, too. I just push the right button the right way. You see, they're teaching other trades in prison these days besides making license plates. One of the rehabilitation programs was training dogs for the security business. I like animals and figured I was getting too old to become a bricklayer, so I chose dog handling. <laughs> Shepherds, Dobermans, you name it. A good guard dog doesn't have to be vicious, you know. In fact, the smaller ones often prove to be the smartest. The important thing we learned was to treat our dogs with respect and never to abuse them. That way, they'll work harder for you. We started out with attack fundamentals. Then we worked out other routines. These little fellas are so clever, you can teach them just about anything. They'll even come up with a few moves of their own. But you never want to tangle with one, especially the Dobermans. Oh, because when they come at you, well, let's just say they know their job. My electronic system, they clearly understand each command. <laughs> it's almost human. Well, maybe even more so. They're lovable, you can trust them, and they never complain. <laughs> Good old doggies. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. I, don't know, I can never repay you. Say, kid, if you need a job, you know you can stick along with us if you want. We'll be here a few more days, and then we're pushing off to the eastern part of the state. We've got a job uh, guarding the receipts at the county fair. Well, uh, you know, the season opens in Hialeah next week. I like to spend my winters in the south. Mm -hmm. Besides, still got that little matter with Sally Kramer to settle. Uh, watch your step with him, kid. He can be nastier than bruised ribs, you know. Yeah. Look, if, uh, if you change your mind or your luck, uh, here's where we'll be. Now, if you can't find me there, this second number is my daughter's address. She'll know where I am. Well, thank you, Daniel. Not a cloud, Daniel. Sure you won't take my bet? The Lord says, he that puts chance before faith is truly a fool. Yeah. Well, the Lord never put his last ten bucks on a long shot. You call the creation of heaven and earth a sure thing? <laughs> I'll remember that next time I'm at the two-dollar window. So long, Daniel. Well, phase two is complete. I just got beaten within an inch of my life. Yeah, I knew you'd be happy to hear that. What do you mean, was I convincing? A two cracked ribs good enough? I'll send them to you for proof. Yeah. Yeah, no, my cover's so well established, I'm beginning to hate myself. 
They think I'm the biggest pigeon since the guy opened the gate for the Trojan horse. No, no, I haven't gotten to Kramer yet. He's gonna be hard to draw in. His boys do all the dirty work while he stays clean and clips the coupons. Yes, of course I have something in mind. No, no, I can't say. I know how much you guys love surprises. Now, I definitely do not need any help. You send somebody else out here and I'll turn in my decoder ring. But I don't care about department regulations. If we followed bureau rules, it wouldn't be a bureau. I'm solo or nolo, dig? Yeah. Look, uh, my three minutes are up. Uh, adios. <laughs> No, no, I'm just uh, part of the government's roadside beautification program. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't pay my taxes last year. Get in. Uh, thanks. Normally, I don't pick up strangers. Too many weird-looking characters around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't be too careful these days. Oh, right. Swamp? Uh, no, no thanks. I got these from a Cuban aerialist last year in Miami. Hmm. Been smoking stogies ever since I was a kid. Didn't have to worry about stunning my growth. <laughs> <laughs> You were the circus? You must be a detective. Yep. I'm uh, with the Circus Septimus, and we open tonight in Rockville for a couple of weeks. Oh. Been performing long? All of my life. I, uh, I studied under the legendary circus giant, Miloski. He was three foot nine inches, and, uh, the best clown Ringley never had. Until his unfortunate accident. Oh, what happened? Elephants have notoriously poor eyesight. Oh. I'm sorry. So is Miloski. Hi, boss. Uh, that's uh, Mr. Big. Uh, there's uh, Ben Dwayne and his elephants. Flying Dubitsky. Always arguing, even in mid air. You know, last year, uh, Mrs. Dubitsky gave birth to twins. They even fought over who came out first. <laughs> their argument sounds a lot more dangerous than their act. Yeah. <laughs> What's with the armored car? You haven't even opened yet. Oh, uh, they're picking up the receipts from the last time we played it. Septimus will sleep a little easier. He gets nervous with all that cash around. He must get a pretty good gate to need an armored car for it. Oh, the gate's only half of it. We take in a lot from concessions, you know, rides, souvenirs. It all adds up to about 50 or 100 power per second. <laughs> that must be in the wrong business. Hey, uh, Texas, how about the 50 you owe me? I'm a little short this week. <laughs> so am I. You gonna play poker tonight? Take my marker. Don't I always? <laughs> Why? I'll tell you. I've got enough notes from him to wallpaper my whole trailer. I gotta start picking on somebody my own size so I can collect it. Big poker game tonight. Whenever a circus sets up, there are two things that are raised first. The tech and the ante. <laughs> are you gonna stay for the show? 
if I can get you a ticket. Well, I'll tell you, I'd like to, but uh, I gotta get back to town. Maybe some other time, huh? Oh, who's that? Uh, Justine Perot. She's got a great act, and the horse isn't bad either. <laughs> That's an ambulance. Some ambulance, huh? Yeah, I, I used to know a horse by that name. Looked a lot like that one, too. Always used to sprout wings coming into the stretch. I bet him in one wherever he ran. I wonder if that could be the same. Uh -uh. I doubt it. You know, uh, circus horses and thoroughbreds don't exactly run in the same circles. <laughs> but uh, I can see you're dying to find out. Hmm? Well, I never like to pass up a chance to say hi to an old friend. Or uh, hello to a new one. <laughs> Come on. Hi, Justine. How's it going? Hi, Sam. Hey, uh, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Lucky Vincent. <laughs> I picked him up pitching about 40 miles back. Hi. Hi. Yeah, that's right. If Samson hadn't come along giving me a free ride, I'd still be out there counting license plates. Oh, I'll bet you paid for it. 40 miles of cheap cigar smoke. <laughs> what do you mean, cheap cigar smoke? I paid a buck and a half for this. <laughs> Smells like a nickel. Some people just don't appreciate the finer things in life. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Like breathing? Hey, what happened to your face? Oh, that's uh, it's just a scratch. <laughs> you should see the other guy. <laughs> you know, Samson tells me he got quite an act. But I can tell that without even buying a ticket. Oh, yeah? Then you saved some money, haven't you? Oh, no, I'm going to see the show anyway. I'm kind of a horse now. Do you ride? Well, uh, no. See, actually, uh, I'm more of a, a student than a participant. What do you study? Oh, horse ancestry, breeding, bloodlines. It's a fascinating hobby. I could talk about the morning line for hours. A bit. You know, as a matter of fact, if you're free after the show tonight, maybe we could... No, thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait. Wait a minute. You haven't even listened to what I was going to suggest. Oh, yes, I have. Is that the kind of a guy I look like? <laughs> okay. If that's the case, you just missed out on some sweet apple pie, coffee, and good conversation. You know something? I never miss a piece of apple pie. Oh, good. I'll, uh, I'll see you after the show. Oh, I, uh, I better warn you, the last time I saw a bareback ride at the circus, I went bananas over it. I was nine. Gee, I'm glad you're a little older. <laughs>
ladies and gentlemen, we present the lovely Miss Justine Piro and her wonder horse, Somnambulist. And I thought all you could do with a horse was bet on him. Some ambulance did everything out there in that ring tonight, but recite the Gettysburg Address. Oh, well, he prefers poetry. <laughs> tell you, I never saw anything like that horse. It's a genius. Now, don't tell him that. He'll be asking me for more money. <laughs> Thank you. Well, uh, why don't you just give him these for me, huh? Tell him they're from an admirer. <laughs> did you know there were some famous German horses who could do mathematics? No. Sure. Sure. They could multiply, divide. They even extracted key groups. Yeah, but could they run? No. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Must be a pretty lonely life. Always on the move. Don't get much chance to make friends. Mm -mm. No, we're gypsies. Wake up in one town, go to sleep in the next. I know the feeling. I'm on the road a lot myself. What do you do? Oh, I'm a probabilities analyst. You're a what? <laughs> a gambler. Are we all? Yeah, but for some of us, the uh, stakes are higher. That's true. The closest I've ever come to your world is wanting to be a jockey. Liberated woman, huh? Just a woman. Oh, I usually know what time it is, and when I don't, I don't care. What do you care about? People. Happiness. I share what I can. Don't you? Only when there's someone to share it with. <laughs> Usually it's my bookie. Oh, come on now. There are more things important than making money. Yeah, like making more money. Oh, you're impossible. <laughs> come on, take me back to my trailer. Okay. The first time I got on a horse, I was so frightened. I didn't know what I was going to do. Well, I held on to anything I could grab. The tail, but... Seven cards done. Now, there's the real show. There's more acrobatics and sleight of hand in there than under the big top. High stakes? Mm. And big losses. On payday, it's all Grants and Franklin. By the 30th, they're back to Washington and Lincoln. <laughs> well, judging from the sound of that game, uh, yesterday was payday. Right. Tomorrow morning, a few will have some long greens. The rest just long faces. Well, you know, as the man said, if you want to go to heaven, you got to raise a little hell. But still be able to afford the ticket. Good night, Lucky. I've enjoyed it. Yeah, good night. Uh, uh Justina, mm. listen, I, uh, I know we just met, but I was wondering, uh, could I get a little good night kiss? You know, just for luck. Mm. <laughs> Very sisterly. Hey, I know you're out of practice, and I haven't made any new friends in a long time. But the only one-night stands I play are right in that tent. Don't even get to see your scrapbook? <laughs> Good night, Lucky. <laughs> Yeah, I finally found the bait to put Sally Kramer on that license plate assembly line. Hmm? Well, I'll let you know that when I figured it out. Oh, uh, another thing, I won't be checking in for a while. I, uh, I just met a bareback rider and I'm running off to join the circus. Hmm? <laughs> uh, sweet dreams. What do you got? Curiosity killed the cat. And satisfaction didn't bring him back. Full house. 
Uh, uh, listen, would an uh, outsider be okay? Oh, hey, I, I want you to meet a friend of mine, Lucky Vincent. Hi. The color of his money is the same as ours. Both the chair and sit down. Thank you. What are you, friend of Samson? Yes, I know. Bear's close watching. <laughs> you even win the deal. Okay, let's see. A seven card stud, a dollar ante. Is that all right? Boy, did you see that? The Waco flip. Uh -huh. His money might be greener than ours. Are you going to be staying long? Uh, I've been thinking about it. He's developed a sudden interest in the art of bareback riding. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I tell you, I'd like to hook up with your outfit. The only trouble is, the only performing I ever did was back in the second grade. <laughs> Played the lead cabbage in the Victory Garden pageant. <laughs> <laughs> My ace bets? Oh. Uh, maybe we'll try to find you some work around here, if you're serious. How are you with animals? Oh, uh, win, place, or show, usually. Why don't we talk to Septimus tomorrow and get Lucky on a payroll? Good idea. You want to be on a payroll? Yeah, Come how on, about it, why Lucky? not? Hey, thanks. Uh, I'm not going to ride any elephants, though. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about doing that. Hi there. Is um, this part of your probabilities research? Oh, absolutely. I'm studying uh, animal psychology and its uh, effect on the laws of chance. <laughs> Well, just be sure you don't get any of it on your shoes. Samson says you're going to be with us for a while. Yep, good chance of it. Uh, listen, what's the probability of us getting together again soon? Well, you're the expert. Let me know when you figured it out. get my hands on you. Now, wait a minute, Sally. Let me explain, will you? You throw a pack of dogs at my boys? So what's to explain? <laughs> you got it all wrong, honest. Now, where are you calling from? Uh, never mind. Uh, I just want to let you know that I'll be paying you back that money I owe you. Yeah, how? Well, uh, that's my business. Well, and you're my business. Look, I want to know when I'm going to see my money. I would sure hate to see you develop one of the seven early warning signals of death. Sally, Sally, you got it all wrong. My luck's turned around. It's running hot. I'm near a big score. Be in the chips any day now. Listen, you flake. My boys are out tracking you right now. And when they find you, if you can't come up with the whole... $18,310. 18 dollars That's right. That's what compound interest. If you can't come up with it, they got orders to plant you right at the bottom of the lake. Are you threatening to kill me? Uh, not unless you can breathe underwater. Mm. Yeah, I told him off, didn't I, sweetheart? Uh, did Daddy tell him good? Uh? Morning, you shall see the glory of the Lord. Exodus 16, 7. <clears throat> oh, yeah, sure. You, uh, you own these dogs? I'm only their employer. They work in exchange for their room and board. Have you, uh, worked these dogs recently? Nope, they've had the week off. What they do on their own time is none of my business. I never primed to their personal lives. Why? Oh, we, uh, we're out here searching for a friend of ours who's lost and, uh, kind of figured maybe you were... One of your dogs might have come across him. Oh, so maybe that's what that noise was all about. What noise? Well, it was more like a shriek. Oh, oh, wait. I'm, I'm sure it was nothing. I, I, I didn't mean to upset you about your friend. I think... You mean that these dogs would actually... Oh, well, not for over a year now. And even then, it was only one of them. Hey, hey. Which one? Well, the one on the far left. 
He's okay. He sees that bulge under your arm. He thinks you're hiding some meat from him. <laughs> he loves games. <laughs> yeah, uh, look, getting back to our friend. Oh, I don't think you have a thing to worry about. Now, for instance, uh, that shoe they brought in the other day, they just probably picked that up in a trash can someplace. They find the darndest things. You... Oh, I know what you're thinking. Well, forget it. I'm sure your friend got back to the highway. Yeah. Um, thank you very much. You've been a big okay. help. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. So long. I know, Micah. Thou shalt not bear false witness. But sometimes when you're trying to help somebody, you gotta cloak. More than behavior modification or simple conditioning. If you want an animal to do something for you, you've got to make him feel that you want him to do it. I see more, uh, more persuasion than command, huh? No, well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. That's where the element of luck comes in, right? Wrong. That's where the element of soul comes in. <laughs> you mean to tell me that an animal can actually sense when you've got his best interest at heart? Hey, you're learning. Boy, uh, do all these rules, do they apply to dogs, too? Any animals, sometimes even humans. How about a whole bunch? What, humans? No, no, dogs. Sure. There's a lot more about this I'd like to know about, you know? And a lot more time to learn it in. Good night, Lucky. Now, wait, wait a minute, Justine. Look, the uh, night it's from your infant. Oh, they should be tucked in bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, uh, sorry. It's just, just something I ate. Uh, yeah, you're getting easier to find all the time, Lucky. You know something, Lucky? If you don't have Solly's money, you're going to be tough. Right? Listen, I just talked to Solly yesterday. Yeah, so did we. Guys, I'm going to be to something big real soon. Oh, yeah. Lake Edwards. Come on, Lucky. Let's go for a little ride. You guys have seen too many movies. Is anything wrong, Lucky? Uh, no, no. Everything's all right. Uh, uh, they were just asking for directions back to town. <laughs> Seems these good people got separated from their church group and uh, have to find their own way back. Uh, come on, Gladstone. Uh, it's past your bedtime, I think, isn't it? If they can do just about anything. Hey, hey, we haven't had a dog that in quite a while, Star Rose. No, not since we had that guy with his Zeredils and whatever they were, and he couldn't keep them in the ring. Oh, no, these are Dobermans. Five of them. They're fantastic. Been working all over the country. My friend and I will whip up an act that I guarantee you'll be center ring stuff. Well, I don't know. You haven't had any experience training animals? Well, I've learned a lot since I've been here. Justine's been teaching me the basics. Besides, my friend Daniel has them already trained. All I have to do is come up with the routines. That should take well, two weeks at the most. Now, how about it, Stavros? Well, okay. But remember, this is just an audition. And then if I like it, we can talk. All right, all right. I, uh, I'll be back in a couple of weeks with your new stars. Uh. No, no, I, I can't tell you where I am. Never know who might be listening. The only thing I can say is that I'm a dog trainer now. Yeah, dog trainer. <laughs> Just use your imagination. Besides, it's all right there in my expense account report. Just read between the lines, six, two, and even, okay? Later. Now, I ask you to repent. Think of your past deeds and what you've done. Awake to righteousness and sin not. That's 1 Corinthians. Next time, stay away from the pantry when I'm gone. 25 pounds of ribs. Huh, holy cats. What? That's supposed to last us a whole week or 10 days. Now, the good book says we have to pay for our sins. So tomorrow you're going to fast. Micah? I don't think one of us is listening today. Only fools make a mock at sin. You still listening to you, Daniel? The return of the prodigal son. <laughs>
Did you come alone this time? How are you, Daniel? <laughs> okay. Uh, come on, get in here. Yes, sir. It's um, it's good to see you. Thank you. Give you a cold drink. It looks like you've had a long walk. Uh, yeah. All the way from town. <laughs> Your daughter told me where I could find you. I guess I missed the fair, huh? Yeah, that's right, but we finished yesterday. Before that, we guarded a stamp and coin exhibition. We really earned our pay this time. It was an attempt to break him. And I do mean attempted. You should have seen those dobies in action. Think about doing something with your dogs besides uh, guarding conventions, county fairs. Well, I never gave it much thought. You know, I like moving around the way we do, being free. Yeah. Well, they're pretty smart, those dogs. They, uh, they do any tricks? Tricks? You mean sit up, beg, roll over? Well, that's for old ladies' lap dogs. Come on. No, no. I mean any, uh, any big tricks. Well, like, like performing dogs? Uh, jumping around on their back legs, wearing diapers, acting cute. <laughs> oh, no. Not not my dogs. Well, they could uh, learn to do something like that, couldn't they? Well, sure, they could learn. But but I don't want, I don't want them to. Not my well, dogs. Suppose you were to teach them to do something really spectacular, like uh, uh, walking a tightrope or uh, leaping through a ring of fire. Circus stuff, you mean, huh? Yeah, circus stuff. Why? <laughs> well, you see, I... I met some people with the circus a couple of days ago, and when I told them about your dogs, they seemed really interested. They wanted to know when you could show them your act. We haven't got any circus act. Why did you tell them that? This is a flim flam. Oh, Daniel, I swear. From the good book? <laughs> Look, I spent some time with this circus, and when I saw what their animals could do, I immediately thought of your dogs. I mean, we could develop an act they'd flip over. Well, they don't know any of that fancy kind of stuff. Yeah, we could train them. We could train them. See, I got an idea for a routine with a, with a clown. Sure thing. And it'd still be on the move. The free life. Well, that it, uh, would be a change of pace, I guess. But uh, no, I don't go for it. No, uh, Daniel. I, Daniel, there's good money. Good money. Now we're getting to the point. <laughs> yeah, sure, we get to the point. Look, all I want is enough to settle up with Sally Kramer and a little leftover to eat with. I'll do anything you want, Daniel. I will work my tail off. Now, what do you say? Come on, let's give it a whirl. No, I'm sorry. I can't see it. No, I can't see it. No. Look, Lucky. I, I like you. I, I don't know why. Maybe it's because you remind me of a photograph of myself 30 years ago, always hustling, looking for a sure thing. Only I hustled my way into the slammer for a con that didn't con. No, I don't want that to happen to you. You can't use your brain marking off days in the calendar. No, sir, there's, there's no way on God's green earth that you can convince me and my five friends that we should join the circus. That's final. It. Amen.
Upper air, the prince of the high wire, Gene Mendel. Not bad. One of those dogs got more applause than your high wire performers. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Let's don't jump the gun. After all, there are some improvements. Uh, improvements made. or no? Are you interested in our act? Well, I think we can work something out. Uh, timing is everything. Now's the time. You're not the only game in town, you know. We have other offers if you're not interested. Uh, now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This was just an audition. I have to look at my budget. Did you look at that crowd? They loved it. This act's going to bring in a lot of money. Your budget can afford it. And you haven't seen the act with the clown yet. Well, I guess we just have to go somewhere. Yeah, we don't need wait. it. Now wait. Wait a minute. I'm sure I can fit you in. Uh, how soon can you join out? We just did. About the terms. Uh, oh, uh, well, you meet me in my trailer first thing in the morning. I'm sure we can work out a contract. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'm going to bring along my glasses for the fine print, you know? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, Greg. Hey, poker game tonight, Lucky? Hey, listen, I haven't even got my first week's pay yet. Oh, don't worry about that. We'll take your marker. In fact, that's the name of the game. We'll take your marker. Well, uh, no, no. Look, fellas, I don't want to take your money. You see, the, uh, the deck is stacked. We got five aces, fellas. Five! <laughs> <laughs> Dan, you were just telling me how much the dogs like you. Well, I tell you, you no, know, I just used what you taught me and it worked. <laughs> Except for two bites I got when I employed the wrong psychologist. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah, Daniel did most of the tough stuff. <laughs> Don't hide your light under a bushel, son. You deserve a lot of credit. It was your idea. I didn't go for it at first. You know, that's right. I had no trouble with the dogs. It was convincing Daniel. That was a hard part. I'm glad you did. Oh, now listen, while you two congratulate each other, I think I'll say goodnight. Uh, but hold on, Justine, will you? Uh, I'll see you in a little while, then. I doubt it. Hey, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, isn't it uh, customary to have an opening night celebration? Oh, according to hundreds of years of circus tradition, it is, yes. Well, I'm a, I'm a traditionalist from way back. So am I. Okay, then. Champagne, the work's the best restaurant hey, in town. better yet. Let me make you dinner. Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
You mean in your trailer? In my trailer. <laughs> I get to see your scrapbook after all, huh? Uh-uh. Just the press clippings, not the love letters. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is it. Hey, this is nice. Make yourself at home. All the bars right over there, and I'll have a scotch. Hey, you read all these books? Oh, some never, some twice. You could open up a bookstore. <laughs> I'm already the circus library. Nietzsche, Hegel, Kant. That's pretty heady stuff for the cotton candy crowd. Well, they don't get borrowed much. My mystery collection's the hot item around here. Well, you're the first bareback scholar I ever met. How do you find the time? Well, I don't go out much. Most of my friends are in the circus. Oh, every once in a while I like to do something I think I'm missing. You know, like cooking dinner tonight. You know what I do? Sometimes, when we're playing a big town, I go to the expensive shops and look at the clothes. Or I never buy anything. I just do it because I think I'm missing it. And then sometimes, on the road, I'll see a house with children in the backyard. And then you think you're missing something else? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not the house. No, I, I like being on the road. The kids? No, I couldn't handle a bunch of kids. <laughs> well, what then? Mm, I know. I, I guess it's the belonging. You have a family? Oh, sure. Somewhere. Boyfriends? A few. A couple even wanted me to quit the circus and settle down. How about that? I'm too much of a gypsy for that. With a track record like mm -hmm. that, it's, uh, it's going to be pretty hard to belong to anybody. Mm -hmm. Except another gypsy. I haven't belonged to anybody since my old lady died. It's been a long time for me, too. One bag's easier to pack than two, right? I travel light, but sometimes that one bag could... I used to think that if you kept your mind busy enough, your heart wouldn't get lonely. But you know, your heart knows when your mind isn't looking. That's when it gets you. Yeah. I know what you mean. These dogs eat a lot better than I do. <laughs> That's because they work harder than you do. <laughs> feeling they want more than our parking place. No, no, don't worry. They just want to talk. Uh, I hope. Uh, Justine, you better get in the camper, lock the door. Okay, Lucky, get in the car. Well, can't we talk this over? Every time we try, we get interrupted by a menagerie. Yeah, talk is cheap, Lucky. And as far as you're concerned, it's worthless. Get in the car. Wait a minute. Oh! 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 Oh!
in your chips right now. You've got the money. No, just please give me 15 minutes to explain everything. Yes, yes, I have the money. Where is it? I mean, I can get it. Soon. He's going to clean one right through the heart. Oh, please, these may be my last words, so I'm going to choose them very carefully. I promise you on my life that I can come up with that money by tomorrow night if, if you just give me 10 minutes to explain everything. You can take care of me after that if you don't believe me. I, please. Just an extra 10 minutes. Come on, fellas. For all time's sake. All right, Lucky. Very fortunate that Nicholas and I are the sentimental type. It's too risky to ice him out here in the open. We'll take him back to the motel, huh? Oh, Lucky. On the way. You write your will. Fifty thousand dollars! And that's just an average take. I mean, sometimes there's up to a hundred thou there. Now look, money like that usually has strings attached. Strings that wear uniforms and carry guns. Well, sure, three guards, but they can be handled. See, they drive up there every two weeks. They, they pick up the gate receipts, then they head on back to the bank. Now, that's where I make the hit, on the road back to town. What do you know about pulling off a heist? You know, pro. You're just a nickel and dime pony player and you don't even do that any good. So how are you gonna rip off the 50G payroll, hmm? He's not. So, you say they got the uh, box office receipts and the concession sales for the past two weeks in the safe right now. Ready to be picked up tomorrow. And I've been ready for over two weeks, so what do you say? I say you're not. But Sally! We are. Hey, I've been waiting for something like this for the longest time. Hey, Nick. When is the last time I joined in on a caper? Uh, two years ago next month, uh, since the uh, candy factory job. Ah, and I've been depressed ever since. This is just what the doctor ordered. Okay, Lucky, I want you to give me every detail of their procedure and routine. And Lucky, if you leak this out to anybody, if you follow us up in any way at all, you're gonna find out real quickly whether there is life after death. Glad to see you. That's it. All right, boys. Hey, where have you been? I can't handle all this alone. Oh, I'm sorry, Dan. I had some business to take care of. Business? This is your business. Come on, let's get ready. Yeah, okay. Hey, uh, what are those guys? Oh, I just wanted to talk. Lucky. Lucky, are you all right? Who are those men? Oh, it's something to take care of. That's all for God's sake. Well, okay, okay. I, I don't get uptight. I was just concerned, that's all. What, and Jeff again? Oh, huh? no, no, I haven't seen him. You're not in trouble. Are, are you in trouble? No! He that delves too deeply into another man's business may lose sight of his own. That's not from the Bible, that's just good advice. they get in there? Oh, uh, <laughs> hello, 
know, Daniel. Uh, excuse me. Lucky, I want to talk to you. Uh, again, no, wait, Daniel. I got a lot to do tonight. Real busy. Busy getting ready to kill my dogs from the look of this. Oh, that. Uh... You see, I, I meant to tell you about that, Daniel. Uh, I'm going to uh, modify that so we can use it in the hot dog act. See, I'll, uh, I'll reduce the powder level and we'll get a bigger blast than we're getting with the cherry bombs we're using now. It's nothing to worry about. It's harmless. I already told Samson about it. We'll get more laughs. There's more than one stick here, you know. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I got to experiment, don't I? I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> it's like prunes. Uh, is one enough or two too many? Now, listen. I can tell a scam before the skunk even raises his tail. Oh, now, wait a minute. Now, you wait a minute. I'm not going to sit around here like a dummy while you risk my dogs and your neck on some harebrained scheme. He that lives by the sword shall die by the sword. And so help me, Lucky. If anything happens to my dogs, you're going to answer for it paw for paw. I'm telling you, kid, I've been there. It's not worth it. You'll get 30 years. No. Sally Kramer will. Are you a cop? It's all right there. Special Agent Justice Department. You're after Kramer. Yeah, yeah. For over a year now. See, Sally's gotten a lot more sophisticated since when you knew him. One of his pet projects is getting people into debt way over their heads. A lot of these people work for companies dealing in heavy money like banks, large corporations, you know. And then Sally finds ways for them to repay the loan. And that explains why you can't put the finger on him, right? Yeah, but now I'm finally going to put my finger on him, but good. He's going to rip off the circus payroll tomorrow. And with the help of your dogs, whom I'll duly deputize, we're going to put Sally on ice. What do you want with my dogs? Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> First, let me tell you what Kramer's going to do, and then I'll tell you what I have in mind for your dogs. armored car comes right around this curve here and when it hits this fork the Dobermans and I will be right there waiting for him. Why don't you just call in the local cops? It'd be a lot easier. Ah, no, no. Kramer'd smell a rat. This way I'm the only one who knows so there's no chance of a slip-up or any leak. Oh, I know too. Why, well, sure, Daniel. That's why I need your cooperation. Now listen, kid. I'm going to level with you. It's more than you ever did for me. Now, I happen to love these dogs, see? They've been with me a long time. They trust me, and I them. I'd never ask them to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. And I don't like this little setup you got here, and my, my answer is no. Now, look, Daniel, I'm sorry I couldn't tell you I was working undercover. I didn't want to get you involved. Only my dogs. That's... This is our one chance to get Kramer. Well, try some other way. It's too dangerous. Leave us out of it. I'm telling you, it won't be that dangerous. Well, I'm not going to let my dogs do it, so... Sorry, you'll just have to do it by yourself. Okay. That's just what I'll have to do then. Oh, hi, fellas. <coughs> 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 He ends up on the wrong end of the nightstick an awful lot. But right now, I think he needs our help, but I'm not sure we can give it to him. You see, you and your brothers and sisters might get hurt. And if that ever happened, I'd never forgive myself. 
what shall we do? How long have we been here? What do I look like, a clock? Look, you said I could leave as soon as it got light. That was hours ago. I've already told you everything I know about how Septimus transfers the money to the guards. Can I go? You're gonna go, all right. With us. Oh. Well, wait a minute, where's Sully? I, I thought he was handling this operation. You're pinch hitting for him, Lucky. Wait, you gotta be crazy. I, I don't know anything about pulling a heist. You never heard on the job trade? <laughs> vehicle in 15 years. Septimus is going to recognize me the minute we go to pick up the money. No, he's not, Lucky. Because you're going to stay right here with the truck, with your mouth closed, while we go inside. Oh, yeah, listen, Lucky. I want you to lay out my clothes very carefully. I just had them pressed. Yeah, before or after you slept in them. After this, we're buying new duds.
Good morning. Come in. Good morning, sir. We're all ready for you today. I hope you... You boys have had your Wheaties. We've had a pretty good week out here. <laughs> uh, leave that $500 to the side there. I'll need that for change. Yeah, sure. Sure. You're running a little late today, aren't you? Yeah, we ran into a little traffic on Route 4. Oh. The regular driver generally comes out the old post road. Well, we're testing alternate routes. It's part of our new security plan. Oh. I hadn't heard about that. Samson! Samson, wake up! Wake up quick! Samson! What's the matter? You think short guys don't need a long sleep? I have to borrow your camper. What? I gotta have your camper. You go back to my trailer. I got... Let me get my clothes. <laughs> hey, hey, don't forget to take the extensions off. <laughs> you fellas been with the company long? Six Two years. years. Two years. Six years. But we've only been partners for three weeks. It's confusing. Stay. Stay. That's it. Um, when you get back to the office, tell Mr. Leonard that I'm holding some tickets for him and his kids. Sure oh, will. Sure. He'll appreciate that. Yeah. That's the last sack. Let's go. Hey. Oh, what's, what's the deal? There's no Mr. Leonard. Now you get him up and get him up quick where I can see him. Both of you. Oh. Teach them thou shalt not steal. Well, 
lucky? You just passed your first course in robbery. That was a perfect heist. Now you're not out of the woods yet. Drop it in there. Go on. Hey, what the? Hey.
Daniel, that was right out of the good book. <laughs> well, kid, you're almost an exception to the rule. But I always love my neighbor and try to help him out whenever I can. Well, you helped out a lot of neighbors on this one. How'd you know I'd go along with you? Uh, prayer, Daniel, prayer. Ah, I thought you were going to bag Kramer. Well, that's the other detail. Kramer's got Justine. Where? I don't know where. But I got a good idea how to find out. The saddest sight I've ever seen. Yeah, there's nothing sorrier than a man gone to the dogs. All right, Lucky. Let's just get rid of Lassie and Rin Tin Tin here. We'll talk. I didn't know you were an animal lover, Slager. Lucky, you will never get your girl back without us, so you'll listen to me good. Now, you give us half the dough and let us go. And we'll tell you where Solly's got your girl, huh? That way you can put the bust on him and keep half the loot for yourself. You know, I think Solly forgot to give these fellows a loyalty oath when he signed him up. Listen, you're running out of time, Lucky. Solly has your lady, Godiva, and he's gonna punch her ticket if we don't get back in time. Now, we'll let you know where she is if you go for our deal. Daniel, did you hear me ask them to tell me where Solly is? I didn't hear you asking, but I think someone else was about to pose that very question. Yes, that's what I thought. Go ahead, ask him, Adam. <laughs> It's a warehouse, the warehouse, the warehouse. Oh, can't miss it. Potter building. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, listen, you're sure you're going to be okay here? They can get tricky. So can I. Uh, well, I'm not exactly alone, you know. Uh, uh, how are you going to find Justine in that building? Um, well, it's no problem. It's okay with you. I'll just take along the very latest and sophisticated detection devices. Uh -huh. Oh, Adam here. Okay, Adam. Okay, Adam. That's it. And uh, don't worry about Adam. I'll be handling most of this no. myself. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. straight games. Hey, Victor, you got lousy luck or you let me win because I'm your employer. No, honest, Sully, you know what you need my game. Now, if you want to play a little go fish. <sighs> well, they should be here pretty soon, and then it won't be cards we're counting. Come on, come on, deal, let's get moving. You already owe me uh, $2.27. You got good sinuses, boy. Here, take a whiff of that. Take a whiff of that. Not now, Caesar. We're in the middle of a game. Victor'll take you out right after this hand. Oh! 
A lot to all. You may not know much about animal psychology, but you're great with humans. You've manipulated almost everyone around. Including you? No. I just thought I was missing something again. Not with me, you weren't. Why didn't you tell me you were a government agent? I couldn't. I never do unless it's absolutely necessary. I made that mistake only once, and... Uh... That person became a memory along with Borsh. She deserved to. Well, I, I guess you really didn't lie to me after all. And... Why is that? Well, you are a gambler. The biggest. Only you put your life on the line. Well, this time I almost put yours there, too. Well, I'm used to it. That's when my home's in the circus. seen mine. Don't make any foolish bets, Lucky. <laughs> well, you know, it's pretty hard to pass up an inside tip. Let me give you a good one. Take good care of yourself. You too. something you just made one of the biggest mistakes of your life <laughs> well I probably did it's nothing new for me though <laughs> I hate to lose your partner but you could turn in your badge and stay with us well I'd like that Daniel but uh, <laughs> you know how it is when you got one more itch to scratch as long as you can reach it huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna stay with the circus oh yeah we found a good home here I've got you to thank for that I got you to thank for your five blessings. Right. You're the greatest in it. Well, God be with you, son. Thank you. 